In this video tutorial, I will explain how to build native mobile applications in AwareIM. AwareIM has always supported browser-based mobile applications. The user had to start the mobile browser and point to the AwareIM managed URL to run such an application. Now AwareIM also supports native mobile applications that are uploaded directly to a mobile device and do not need the browser to run it. The user just taps on an icon representing the application and goes directly into the first application screen. Please note that the AwareIM mobile application still remains a client-server application. This means that you must have a server somewhere with AwareIM installed that will service requests from mobile applications installed on the mobile devices of the users. With this in mind, let's look at the process of building native mobile applications in AwareIM. Let me provide a high-level overview of the process. AwareIM uses the technology called PhoneGap, managed by Adobe, to create native mobile applications. This technology converts a browser-based application driven by HTML and JavaScript into a binary code that can be uploaded into a mobile device. This can be done online from your PhoneGap Adobe account. You upload a zip file representing your application to the PhoneGap site, which converts it into binary code, and after a few minutes you can download the binary file or files for each of your mo mobile platforms. The question is then, where do you get the zip file to upload to the PhoneGap site in order to receive the native binaries? Well, AwareIM does just that. It automatically creates a zip file for, for your application that you can then upload to the PhoneGap site. So the entire process consists of the following steps. Create PhoneGap account with Adobe. It is free and easy to set up. This is the URL of the site. Create browser-based mobile application in AwareIM as usual. Use the AwareIM feature for building native mobile applications to prepare a zip file of the application. Upload the zip file into the PhoneGap site. Download binary files for each mobile platform from the PhoneGap site. Upload these binaries into a mobile device. Let's now go through these steps in detail. We will assume that the first two steps have been already done and that you have created your PhoneGap account and created your browser-based mobile application in AwareIM. Now we need to build the zip file for the application to be uploaded into the PhoneGap site. To do this, we select the Build Native Mobile Application menu item in the Tools menu. AwareIM displays the first screen. First, we select the Output folder where our zip file will be generated. Then we must provide the URL of the server. Remember that your mobile application is a client-server application and it will be communicating to the server all the time. Therefore, before you build a native application, you must know the internet-wide valid URL of your server, where AwareIM will be installed to process mobile requests. You cannot enter local host here, and you can only enter your local network address if you are testing your native application, which is what I will do here. I am providing the local network address of my machine. The next step is to provide web application folder name. Unless you have renamed your web application folder, you should leave the default value there. Next, you need to select the application to be built from a list of your existing business spaces. I will use the CRM sample application. Next, we need to decide whether our users will be logging into our application or not. If we decide that our application does not need a login, we must make sure that the application supports guest access level. The first screen displayed by the application will be the screen displayed by AwareIM 
when guest users access the system. If the users have to log into the system, the first screen will be the login screen. The next step is to select mobile platforms for which you are building your binaries. You will be receiving a binary file for each mobile platform you select here. Next, we must provide some application details, such as name, author, and so on. Finally, we need to provide icons for our application. These icons will be displayed on a mobile device to represent an application. If we don't provide an icon, default icons will be used. I will not be providing icons and using the default ones. Now we can click Generate to get the zip file generated in the output folder. So the zip file has been generated and we can now go to our PhoneGap account and upload this zip file. So I go to the PhoneGap URL where I have already signed into my account. Before you can upload your zip file, you need to create an application and provide its details by clicking on the New App button. I already have an application created, so I will just upload a new zip file for this application. To do this, I click on the Update Code button. and then select our zip file that has been created by, the, by where I am. And then I click Upload and we need to wait a little bit to get the uh, phone gap to prepare the binaries. It's also very important to understand that in order to generate proper binaries that can be uploaded into a mobile device, you also need to perform certain steps required by your particular mobile platform. For example, Apple requires that you obtain an electronic key for your application and then sign the binary with this key. PhoneGap will do this for you if you obtain the key and specify it before you upload the zip file. Please refer to the documentation of a particular platform on how to obtain all necessary artifacts for your application. We haven't provided the key for the iOS platform, that's why we have an arrow here. Android, on the other hand, does not require you to do anything, so we can just download the APK file that PhoneGap will generate for us. So we can see now that all our binaries have been generated except iOS and we can click on the APK button to download the binary for the Android platform. Now we can install this binary on the phone. Installation on each phone is different. For Android, the easiest thing to do is put the APK file in the Aware I Am Tomcat web apps Aware I Am directory and then point your mobile browser to the following URL. This will download the file to the phone. Then you can open the Downloads application, find this download and just click on the APK file to install it. Or you can use an Android emulator and test your application on your, on your PC which is what I will do here. Here I have downloaded a freely available Android emulator software called Andy. I will show you how to install and start your application using this emulator. All we need to do is connect to the folder where our APK file is and then click on the file to install it. So to connect, I run the Android equivalent of the file explorer. Then I go to Network, LAN, and then Scan. Then I click on the Work Group and connect to my C drive. Okay. 
from my C drive, I can find the folder where the APK file is. Here it is. I click on it and then click install. And the application is now installed. I can click open to run it straight away. Over here we have the CRM sample application running. So here is a CRM sample application running as native application. And here is the, the icon of the application that you can just tap to start. The final aspect I wanted to mention is that advanced users can modify the zip file created by where I am to fine tune their settings before uploading the zip file into PhoneGap. To do this, you can unzip the file into some directory, change certain files, zip them back up and upload the final result to PhoneGap. Here for example, I have unzipped the file into the PhoneGap directory. The two files that you may want to modify are main.html and config.xml. The main.html file represents the HTML page of your login screen. You may want to modify it if you want to provide your own custom version of the login screen. The second file, config.xml, contains settings that the phone gap uses when it builds the binary. You can modify this file and provide your own settings if need be. For details, please refer to the phone gap documentation.